Uh, the second uh, file we have uh, in front of us is the credit rating agencies. Uh, so you know that since 2008, uh, there have been already two uh, directives, uh, CRA1 and CRA2, to try to set a European framework on these uh, credit rating agencies. And uh, we are working on the third one, which was published by the Commission uh, two, uh, a month ago or three weeks ago. Um, and uh, one, one element of the debate is the, the conflict, how to deal with the conflict of interest. Uh, my personal view is that we cannot solve the problem on sovereign debt. It's clear that if we create a uh, public, a European public credit rating agency, we are going to create new kind of conflict of interest, but n not private one, but public ones. And I don't think it's helpful. So um, I would say that the, the uh, uh, private, the conflict of interest are not only uh, in the private sector and the way of the notion of responsibility uh, should be uh, concrete in the uh, real world is also a question for public actors, not only for private one, of course. Um, the third uh, issue I wanted to raise, and it will be the last one, is about uh, the, the, the CDS and uh, the CDS market. Why? Because um, it's not that easy to say that somebody personal actor is responsible or not. You can say that if you follow the rules, then you are responsible, and it's up to the politicians to decide about the rules. It's not up to you personally. So my uh, feeling and my function as a politician here in the round table and, and in the real world, it's uh, to try to set rules that uh, allow, that permit responsible individual behaviors. And what I can see on the CDS markets uh, is that the, 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 the functioning of the market per se, not personal behaviors, not, not uh, s uh, people who wouldn't like to comply with the rules, but the rules per se are not set in a responsible manner. Uh, for instance, um, well, two, two examples, but uh, when when there was the Irish uh, crisis in 2010, uh, you had uh, big European banks uh, buying CDS, so buying insurance, against the uh, default of a state to hedge funds. So we are, at the end, in a situation where hedge funds, which are the less capitalized entities in the, uh, in the financial sector system, uh, being mm, was selling net exposure to Thanks. banks to ensure against the default of a member state with, of course, systemic effect and systemic risk. I mean, in the real world, you cannot sell insurance without being able to really pay, pay off the, the premium. Uh, in the financial system, you do not have to prove that you are, will be able to pay the premium if the event occurs. Uh, and we saw clearly uh, with AIG that it was not the case. And it's just because the uh, tax, US taxpayers uh, brought some 125, uh, if my memory is correct, 25 billion dollars, then that we didn't have uh, another uh, default after the Lehman, Lehman Brothers one. And if we had had the uh, AIG default, then we would have had also the Societe Generale default because the Societe Generale got something like 20, I don't have the figures in mind, maybe you have them, 25, I guess, at, the, uh, at that time, uh, billion dollars. Uh, uh, Eight. eight. No, eight I did at the end uh, because of donating, but... No, no, it was eight, not 25. It was eight from the beginning? No, eight. Eight is a lot. Uh, no, that, because I was in charge Sorry? of the beginning. Eight is a lot. So, I mean, no, don't eight, don't eight, eight, eight is a lot anyway, but I, I thought, okay, but I thought, okay. I thought it was more and after okay. the netting and so on. I knew it's eight. 
Okay, even eight. It's not. It's not just uh, nothing. Okay. So well, you cannot consider that in that kind of, of when the rules uh, allows that. The, 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 the problem is not the, the, the individual behaviors, it's how the, the way the rules function. So I think that there is a, a new, and that will be my last word, uh, a, a new file for us uh, in front of us, and, and Michel Barnier uh, is, is convinced about that, is to make sure that when you sell insurance, you have the, uh, uh, the capital or you have the financial capacity to really pay for the risk you are supposed to ensure otherwise at the end of the day it will be taxpayer money and we know that it's no more an option when you look at the uh, public accounts. Thank you. <laughs>